All right, hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd give a quick update on the season that's been going on for Diablo 4, Season of the Malignant. This is for those that have uh, decided to start the season or haven't yet. I recommend, obviously, those are people who have done the game already and completed the campaign. So I just want to give everyone an update on things. So things that you should do while starting this season. Assuming you've gotten a character that you started on that has gotten everything done already, map, altar of Lilith, that helps a lot. It's amazing to start with that because then you don't have to worry about getting all of those at all. You can just go straight into the season. We're about doing dungeons. You can skip the campaign immediately. And then I recommend going and doing all the waypoints to starters. That way you can travel everything everywhere pretty easily with the season quests that are offered. For Malignant Hearts, these right here that you are given that is part of the season that you drops from the new enemy type in the Malignant Dungeons and part of the seasonal quests as well. Do not use those, okay? So right now I'm pretty much saving every single one of them to be able to put them in for gear later on because what's going to happen is you're going to be getting a bunch of those that you'll want to keep and unless you're getting like a really good drop i'm already like level 33 right now but i've gotten already three piece drops already for the gear i needed for my barbarian this season's been pretty crazy so far i've gotten amazing drops so far this is awesome for aspects and i haven't even had to take them out yet at all so i can keep those in for a while i've decided to upgrade them a little bit so i don't have to worry about replacing gear for a month for a bit until i'm like level 50. But I decided to put Malignant Hearts in these because I'm not going to remove them. The others that I decided to keep, I've stocked in my storage. So I recommend doing that. Don't worry about using them until you've gotten really good gear upwards, probably past 50. Devious Heart, Vicious Heart, and Brutal Heart. So these are the three you're going to be looking out for. Um, it's going to be orange or red and blue and purple. So there's going to be three types starting out. I think there is a Wrathful Heart. There's another type that I haven't unlocked quite yet. That I will be getting into later on. So I will be looking at that as well. Um, in terms of build, so like I'm doing Barbarian this season, I recommend going for Bleed. Bleed got um, didn't get nerfed as heavily. It actually got buffed in the patch in terms of damage over time and physical damage. So it's actually really nice. It's doing amazing damage starting out right at the gate. So I've been doing all of these strongholds already level 33 and some of them are level 35 and up and I've been soloing them. So it's been pretty nice actually. You just make sure you're like paying attention to CCs. As long as you have your build set up pretty good with the shouts for Barbarian, I think everyone already knows how to run it. If you're already if you're already familiar with Barbarian class, starting the season, you go into it and you knock out all of the waypoints because you have pretty much all of your renown starting from the first two right out the gate for each zone. So that would give you one skill point for each. That's a total of five skill points as you start. And then from there, you'll do your waypoints. And then after waypoints, you do the strongholds. And then from strongholds up after that, you can, if you want to, decide to do side quests. Obviously, tier three will be after you finish your first pinnacle dungeon. So after the first pinnacle at level 50, then you'll continue on from there and just blow through the uh, season pass. Now on the season pass, as you're doing all this, it's kind of proactive as you're doing it, but you'll be having the season journey, which kind of gets done as you're just playing the game and getting the dungeons finished. You'll be doing cellars, side quests you'll be getting stuff from the purveyor of curiosities you'll be salvaging things to the blacksmith and the malignant heart dungeons of course you'll be doing those with the with the um, seasonal quest so that's kind of just like i said it happens as you play the game uh, you'll be getting stuff scattered prisms from world bosses treasure goblins um of course like i said strongholds doing events in the open world like just playing the game as you're going as you're doing things you don't really have to go in here as much and like look at what you need to finish unless you are pretty much done with everything i need to level so other than that i wouldn't worry too much about your seasonal objectives until you are stuck and not no one else the best way of leveling at the moment for the season currently i've noticed is going like i said doing your waypoints and then doing the whispers so the whispers did get a really good buff after this recent patch for the season in terms of experience gain so the tree whispers is really nice to use i don't recommend maybe grinding it unless you're done with like the strongholds waypoints and like the everything in your map zone then you can probably do that alongside your side quests to just kind of knock them out and then you'll like start getting a lot of xp up until 50 then after 50 we'll be hitting the pinnacle dungeon and then to your next tier and then hopefully hell tides and then obviously hell tides the nightmare dungeons will replace the best way to level so I thought I would just give everyone an update on like the best way to start the season out for a season of Malignant season one. And um, yeah, pretty much. Thanks, guys. And I will keep you guys updated.